गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास हाउ आर यू ऑल गेस सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी स्टार्ट ओके सो लेट्स फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस मी माई सेल्फ आई एम शुभांगी व्यवहार एंड आई टीच यू द साइंस सो आई वेलकम टू ऑल यू इन माई साइंस क्लास सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ युअर साइंस पीरियड स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू येस ऑल ऑफ यू येस फ्रॉम माई लेफ्ट साइड येस फ्रॉम माई राइट साइड ओके वॉट अबाउट दिस मिडिल पार्ट ऑफ द डेक्स बेंचेस ओके सी स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आर लेसन टूडे वी डिस्कस द जनरल टॉक नाउ टेल मी इफ आई हिट दिस बॉल टूवर्ड्स यू सो वॉट हैपन्स येस यू माइट बी रिस्पॉन्ड फॉर दैट बट इफ आई हिट दिस बॉल टू द बोर्ड देन वॉट हैपन्स दिस बोर्ड विल नॉट रिस्पॉन्ड now see in our class so many things you observe with fan board charts desks benches then a table all chair yes and you all similarly in the surrounding also you observe so many things like plants birds insects and animals so many things so students what are the difference in all that things that stone table animals they all are having the same characters no see buffaloes then cows then goat Uh, sheep they are having the four legs similarly this chair then table you are desk benches these also are having the four legs but what is the difference in that if i say to walk this chair so do the chair walk no why that we see but if i said you or any goat or any animal so they move from one place to another yes they move now suppose imagine if suddenly in your class snake is came so what happens you all might be run away from the class yes all are run away but what about the desk benches then that table board charts do they run away from the class no they do not run away from the class why this happens yes so today we discuss about the new lesson that is living and non living things which lesson living and non living things so see students around you you observe so many things so what are the characteristics of these living things and what are the characteristic of these non living things that we discuss in a scientific way now what are the living things those are alive those things are alive that is called the living things we are alive animals are alive plants are alive so those things are alive that are coming in the group of the living things and those are not alive like stone table chair wall this board fan these all are come under the non living things now let me discuss more scientifically what are the characteristic of living things and characteristic of the non living things let's see the first point living things need water and food 
Living things need water and food to live. See students, all living things need water and food for their living. So, they love living things take their food or get their food and water from the surrounding. See, some uh, insects like butterflies, then um, honeybees, they suck the nectar from the plant. Yes, you might be observe that flower. Butterflies always sit on the flowers to collect the nectar. They get the food from the flowers. Some animals like cow, then goat, buffalo, deer, rabbit, some birds also, they take the food from the plants. They eat the plants and they take their food from the plants. Then some animals like lion, tiger, then uh, cheetah. These animals, some birds also like uh, vulture, then eagle. They kill the animals and eat their flesh. They kill the animals and eat the flesh of that animals. Means some animals get the food from the plants. Some animals get the food from animals or flesh. Then some animals like uh, bear, then uh, sparrow, then uh, fox, human beings. They eat both plants also and the flesh of other animals. So some animals eat them both so they get the uh, uh, food from the plants as well as the animals. Now, what about the plants? From where they get the food? The plants get the food. They make their food by themselves. In the presence of sunlight and air, they absorb the water from the soil. make their food. But some plants like peach then a uh, Venus flytrap these plants they are the insectivorous plants. They trap the insects and kill the insects and they get the food from that uh, insects. Which plants? That pitcher plant and the flytrap. Uh, Venus flytrap. So all living things need food. Similarly all living things need food for their living. We also take the uh, water. We also uh, some animals, all animals they take the water. Plants get the water from the soil. So all living things need food and water to live. The next point is all living things need air, sunlight and water. All living things need air, sunlight and one to the live. Now see students, we all, we also, all animals also, all plants also, they need the air to breathe. So different animals using their different organ, organs for the breathing. Insects um, such as um, cockroach, Then uh, butterflies, they use the air holes present on their body. Some animals like human beings, lion, tiger, goat, cow, they use the lungs.
breathe because we need air to breathe some animals like uh, frog frog lives in the water also and frog lives on the land also so when the frog is in the water so that time it use skin for the breathing it has a, uh, it has the holes on their skin and they breathe through that air holes and when it is on the land so it use the lungs for the breathing then plants plants are having pores in their leaves plants are having pores in their leaves and that leaf pores are known as the stomata that pores are known as the stomata so with this help of this stomata plants breathe so all living things need air to breathe similarly we all living things animals plants all all need sunlight also see students if you found some plants like sunflower yes sunflower is always bends toward the sunlight or uh, do an activity at your home yes what you have to do just take one pot of the plant small plant you have to take it cover it with the paper you have to make the paper bag cover it with the paper and make one hole and next day you have to observe that what you observe okay so what do you find there that plant is bent toward the hole why because whole plant is covered with the bag and sunlight comes through this part only through this hole so that's why this plant bends toward the sunlight we also need the sunlight some vitamins we get the we get from the sunlight then uh, plants make their food in presence of the sunlight similarly all living things need warmth to the uh, living for their living so students what we discuss today what are the living things living things means those are alive those are alive are the living things what is the first character uh, characteristic of living things living things need water and food to live all living things need water and food to live they get the water and food from the surrounding different animals get their food from the different different things then all living things need air sunlight and warmth to the live they use different breathing organs different animals using the different breathing organs for the uh, for their breathing and they need sunlight also and they need warmth to the uh, living so tomorrow we will discuss the another characteristic of the living things and uh, what is the difference between the living things and the non living things that we continue with the tomorrow have a nice day bye students